So guys, what's going on? It's Curtis Jack here, back again with a brand new video on this channel. Well, a bit of a different video for you because are Swansea City in the hunt for the playoffs? Well, we are three points off with two games to go, 12th in the league, and we are in the mix. Can we make it or not? Here's what Swansea City need to do if they are to make the playoffs. As you may know, Swansea City are on absolutely tremendous form right now, winning six in our last seven games. And we absolutely annihilated Norwich City 3-0 at Carrow Road on a weekend. And our last two games are away to Hull City and home to West Brom and Chalbion. Here's how the current race for the top six stands at the minute. Obviously, Luton and Middlesbrough are already in, but... In fifth place, we've got Coventry City. Sixth place, we've got Sunderland, who are the teams in the driving seat in a minute on 66 and 65 points, respectfully. Millwall in seventh on 65 points. Blackburn on 65 points, although they've got a game in hand tonight against Burnley. Um, West Brom have got 63 points. They've got a game in hand against Sheffield United tomorrow. Preston on 63 points. Norwich on 62 points. And Swan City on 62 points. So that's from fifth to twelfth. And... Something could go down to the wire, you know. But let's look at the other teams' as fixtures. We start off with the fifth place team, Coventry City, where they've got Birmingham City home and Middlesbrough away. They've got and Sunderland have got Watford home and Preston away. Millwall have got Blackpool away and Blackburn home. Blackburn have got Burnley home, Luton home and Millwall away. West Brom have Sheffield United away, Norwich home and Swan City away. Preston North End of Sheffield United away and Sunderland home. Norwich City got West Brom away and Blackpool home. And Swansea of Holloway and West Brom home, as I said. As the fixture list stated there, it's going to be a very tasty battle, you know, because quite a lot of them are playing each other. And Swansea City, what needs to happen first for most, they will need to win both of our games. And we need these teams above us to muck up their results. So, yeah, I think this will be a very interesting battle, whether we make it or not. I mean, we were sleepwalking towards relegation back in March, and by the looks of it, like joining the relegation battle, 17 off the playoffs, but now we're three points off the playoffs. This shows what Russell Martin can really do as a manager. This shows what the players can really do as a team. But of course, the only thing standing it in their way for the future is, of course, the owners. But, but yeah, Russell Martin's proven how good of a manager he is. The players proven how good he is. Andy Fisher, especially the keeper, he has improved a lot, keeping about five clean sheets, I think. Yeah, I think it's about five clean sheets in the last seven games. So he's improved massively as well after all the mistakes he's done in the past. And I hope the lads keep going. Anyway, 68 points is a max points for us. And we're on 62 points with two games to go. And from the Wales Online article here, as you can see, first for, and for most, Swansea need to win both their matches to reach the 68 point mark. And while even that may not be enough, it will give them a fighting chance of extending their season. Assuming Swansea do their bits, two commentary defeats would be ideal, although the Sky Blues could pick up one point or even two, as long as there's a huge shift in goal difference. If Sunderland drop points in both of their final two games, Swansea will finish above them with two wins. Martin's men could even edge out the Black Cats if Tony Mowbray's men win one and lose one of their final two games. Again, as long as there's a massive goal difference swinger. So it's not necessarily the end of the world if Sunderland do win one game. Should Sunderland draw with Preston, that would also rule the Lily Whites out of the running. So a statement between those two looks to be the perfect scenario. However, a Preston win would definitely be preferred if Ryan Lowe's outfit drop points against Sheffield United. Millwall needs to realistically drop points against Blackpool and at best draw with Blackburn. I mean, Blackpool looks to be fighting. They beat Birmingham on weekend, so that could potentially give us hope. And a Rovers win over Millwall combined with defeats to Burnley and Luton for Blackpool could definitely prove fruitful given that Swansea have a better goal difference than the Ewood Park outfit, but a draw certainly works. Sheffield United win over West Brom would massively help us as it would mean Swansea beating the Baggies on final day along with Halloween weekend with ruler Carl Corbrand's troops. In between those fixtures, West Brom could end Norwich Hope by either beating or drawing with the Canaries. Should David Wagner's men defeat West Brom, they would miss out by drawing points to Blackpool on final day or if Swansea overturned the two-goal swinging event over Norwich win. And that just leaves Preston, who will be unable to reach 68 points if they don't beat Sheffield United at Bramall Lane on Saturday. Simple read, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, looking at that, it is pretty doable, isn't it? And two winnable games and potentially these teams above us are two droppable points games. You never know in a day, but hmm, who knows, eh? We may have something to play for in the final game of the season and West Brom may have something to play for in the final game of the season. So both teams... Swansea West Brom may have something to play for in the final game of the season down at the Swansea.com stadium. We've got Hull City away. It's a nothing game for Hull City, but their home form has been superb, which is a bit of a 
bit of a worrying sign really but they're two winnable games for us and the teams above us we've got to rely on them as well because we've got to make sure they drop points and realistically I don't know if it will happen but as a fan you've got to believe still and I hope we can make it at the very last ditch we did overturn a five goal swing against Nottingham Forest in 2020 which turned into a six goal swing these things happen in the championship because as well as the promotion mix being intriguing the relegation battle looks intriguing as well so the final day of the championship season was definitely one for the popcorn so if you want to see more content make sure you like subscribe turn on notifications and yeah come on your swads believe in yourselves and make the playoffs peace